All right, so now we're going to talk about some of the scenarios and some of the great uses of using a track two up. Think about this. You've got a five axis machining center, and before you can cut anything, you've got to put a dovetail on the part in order to hold it, right? And then when you get done making those parts, you've got to cut the dovetail off. Why use a very expensive machine to do that when a two op can do it for a fraction of the cost? Another scenario would be that you've got a turning center on one side of your shop, and you've got a milling center on the other side. So any of the jobs that have to have both are either going to have to be transported back and forth and scheduled into each machine and each operator, or you could pick up the two-op with the pallet jack and set it down next to the operator and have him do the work and get both done at the same time. In this case, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So the first part I want to discuss is this part that I'm holding in my hand right now. Okay, it starts out as a half-inch thick piece of metal that is a little bit longer than what you're seeing right here. And the way we do it in our machining center, you're going to see in the video in a moment, it would actually start out that there's two of them in the vise and it cuts around the outside to make the shape. It chamfers everything, drills and taps the holes. After that, the two parts are moved to the second operation where it chamfers the opposite side and that completed. So let's think about that. The first part takes roughly about four minutes, okay? When I flip it over to here, I take another two minutes to do this side. And then if I was a typical shop, I would have a third operation which would flip the part up like this in order to drill and tap and chamfer the last two holes. So let's say your whole scenario is seven or eight minutes, okay? What I would do is I'd pull my two op in and I would do the first two operations, which is gonna roughly take me about five minutes. And then within that time period of that, the third operation is gonna be in the two op. What that gives me is free labor and it shortens the process time for each individual part. The other thing it does is it allows me that when I'm doing parts that have more complication, if there's something wrong with one of the previous uh, options, I'm going to find out right away, not after I have a whole batch of them that have to go back for rework, right? So as you'll see in the video, you'll see exactly how we make it and use the two-op to do the whole thing. You'll also get the chance to see how the two-op has, uh, how the working is for the tool changer and some of that stuff, and you'll actually see the movements, okay? The next part I want to talk about is this. This is a typical turn part, right? I put it in my lathe, whether I've got a lathe that has two chucks or one, right? I've got machining to do on the inside of this here, okay? And I've got machining to do on the opposite side. And if this was a typical shop, after all that turning's done, then it goes to the other end of the shop to drill and tap those holes. Or you could buy a very, very expensive machine with live tooling to do this. But again, you're increasing the cycle time. What we're trying to do is decrease the cycle time and take advantage of the free labor that the operator has who's standing there waiting for the cycle to finish. So in here, we have two operations, the inside, the outside, and then in that cycle time, the two op is gonna do the drilling and tapping. Okay, I hope this is helpful and you'll get a better idea on some of the ways that people use the track two op. Of course, there are people who buy it surely for the size and it can fit almost anywhere, including your garage. Uh, so keep that in mind and remember as always, that if you want to learn a little bit more, either talk to your local rep or look us up at trackmt.com. I'll see you in the next video, and remember, keep on tracking.